If you're one of the guys who are buying celestial packs and planet cards early on, then guys, please stop it. It's really, really bad. You want to win more games, guys? Then start doing the right things. The first step is to understand which things we really need. We need stuff that allows us to get multiplier and money. And this is our early game plan for every single game. Good jokers to create money in the early game are trading card, reserve parking, and to-do list. You can get really good multiplier out of the Greedy Joker, Lusty Joker, Raffle Joker or Gluttonous Joker. They also have like really good potential for further scaling. The second step is to start build a combo around specific cards and jokers. And the most powerful mechanics in Balatro are the glass cards plus red seals and combining this with good jokers. And yes guys, you heard right. One card in your deck can have the glass plus the red seal at the same time. But how do we get there, guys? And it's pretty easy. You want to look for standard packs, first of all, because they can give you red seal and glass cards. In addition, you're looking for arcana packs. In those, you can find tower cards like Justice, which also allows you to create glass cards. And on top, you can find the Fool or Death in there, and they allow you to copy your strong cards to get even more powerful. And if you see spectral packs, you also want to buy them because they also can help you to get red seals going, create glass cards, or even copy your strong cards in your deck. And if you don't find the jokers you want in the shop, then you also can buy buffoon packs because there are more jokers in for you. But what are now these super strong joker builds I'm talking of you guys? Two of the strongest builds you can go for is Fibonacci plus Hack or Triple Eight and Zog of Buskin. And to make these strong builds even go super insane, you can combine them even more with Invis Joker, Brainstorm or Blueprint. And if you have some money left, guys, then you also want to get the Voucher Glow Up because Holy Chrome is really strong in the game. The Tarot Vouchers are also really good because you want to see more Tarot cards because they can enable your deck simply to duplicate your strong cards. And if you want to go for a bit more on the money side of life, also the money vouchers are worth it if you have some money left. In addition, you also don't want to miss the antimatter if you have the money left to buy it because plus one joker slot can be really juicy. The last watch I want to mention is the illusion. It's giving your playing cards in the shop enhancements, additions, and maybe even seals. And this is the juice you're looking for because seals, additions, and enhancements can just enable really big combos to also beat the big blinds. But which additions are you really looking for, guys? You're actually looking only for two additions. The negative addition onto also a good joker, or also polychrome onto a good joker, because they're only worth it if you put them really also onto valuable jokers. On bad jokers, these additions doesn't make the jokers a good one. And here's some secret tip for you guys. It's most likely never worth it to skip blinds unless you get an insanely good reward, which could be getting plus 40 money or getting a neg negative joker. Everything else is most likely garbage because you're missing a shop then. And in the shop, you could find good jokers, more tarot cards, better spectral packs, which are way better than just skipping for example, for one buffoon pack. It's never worth it. Just follow these easy tips, guys, and you will win more runs for sure. 